Here's yet another requested video on how to implement Lenny smooth scrolling. I know that I have it set in, I think, one or two videos, but it's mixed with other effects and everything else and might seem a little bit confusing how to implement it to the people who actually don't really know how to code or are in a rush or they want to get things done super quick this video is that so this video is going to be quick and short and i'm going to show around uh the landing page that we have created on elementor host and it's going to be uh super quick and speaking of elementor host i wanted to show you something and i think there's some confusion when it comes to uh, the elementor host compared to uh other hosting providers and i want to show you why so we are on the landing page of Elementor host and I want to show you the plans and I want to show you something very specific here. As you can see, this term called auto scaling site. OK, maybe you're not really aware or you don't understand what that means exactly. And um, I think that's where the confusion stems from and why people think that hosting on Elementor is expensive compared to other service providers. But it is not because what auto scaling site hosting is, is a web service where the server resources like CPU, REM, bandwidth, and even the number of servers expands or automatically increases or decreases depending on traffic. And this is extremely important if you have a website that is trafficked or highly trafficked and imagine if you have for example coming up now the black friday offers and everything else where people will go online you know every year people go online to buy stuff you have a lot of traffic coming in imagine if you're losing on offers because your website is not capable of you know automatically expanding or increasing its resources so uh, this is what I'm talking about. You can see that they have a great offer here. You can save 40% on all the plans. Yeah. If you have a website that is just at the beginning, you can go with the first plan. If you have a website that is or already ready to like move to the next stage, you can go to with host cloud plus and you get more, um, you know, storage, more uh, bandwidth, etc. So yeah. I will leave a link in the description below if you want to check it out more in depth. I have some videos on the channel talking about uh, Elementor host as well. Let's get into installing Lenis on the landing page we have built on Elementor host. I also had the weird situation happening uh, last week, I think it was, where I I don't know what I did. I probably deleted the website when I exported it. I don't know how I did that. I mean, it happens to the best of us, right? Let's just say that there's a reason why uh we have invented backups <laughs> so basically the landing page disappeared and you only had the footer and the header left on the website if i didn't have all these backups as you can see i have a bunch of backups yeah and i knew that uh when i made the last changes yeah and i didn't know exactly when i ma made the 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 last um changes the changes that i wanted actually so what i did i actually restored from one of the backups twice so it was um basically two two backups in a row so i did the la the one that was the latest i think it was on the 50th and then uh that wasn't working that didn't work and then i mean the the page wasn't the page that I wanted. It was a, a little bit um, uh, shifty. And then I uh, did the second one. So thank God I had these backups. And uh, leaving Elemental Host aside, you need to have a way to backup your website, no matter how good you are at doing stuff on your website. Yeah. No matter how good you are as a web designer, web developer, whatever backend dev you are you need a backup for your website and you have to educate your clients to to be able to um keep backups for their websites because these things happen and it they happen to the best and to the worst of us yeah so uh there's no rule here <laughs> anyway i just wanted to to say that uh quickly because that is it was scary i couldn't i couldn't do anything you know Anyway, so let's go to the uh, dashboard. And I think I already have Lenis on the website. Now, what I will do, let me just go to Elementor uh, custom code. I think this is where I have it. Okay, it seems like I don't have it, but I think this is the right time to show you how to add custom code to your um, Elementor, yeah? 
So this is valid and available only for Elementor uh, Pro. Yeah, if you don't have it, uh, you will need to use a um, plugin for code snippets. And let's call this Lenny's uh, Smooth Crawl. Okay. So this goes in the uh, body end. Okay. Make sure that is at the body end. So I am going to bring in um, the website where I add stuff for the web for the channel. Yeah. And uh, this is what um, this is where we have uh, the code. I will leave the link in the description below. This is a second, I think it's a second hotfix to the uh, smooth scroll because of all the changes in Elementor WordPress. I don't know what happened. It effect affected or maybe even the browser's updates. Anyway, I don't know what affected the previous code. It wasn't working anymore. It was um, making the websites not actually scroll. Yeah. All right, so what we need first is our JavaScript, yeah? So I'm gonna copy it, paste this here, all right? And it's all done, all right? You just have to publish it. And now you have to add the condition. So obviously we want to have this on all the websites because we want all the pages to have the same effect, smooth scrolling, yeah? So I'm gonna leave it on the entire page, but you can add whatever conditions you want. That is up to you. I work uh, like this on all the uh, pages. And now the next thing that we are going to be doing is basically um, adding the HTML code, okay? Because we have something additional that we need to add. So let's go to um, one of the pages on your website. We just need to access the um, site settings and you have to go all the way to custom CSS, yeah? And I need to add the following code this one here copy don't copy this part i mean you can copy it but it's not necessary to work and then drop it in here and save changes and that should be it so now let's see our website and i'm telling you you have to add lenny's smooth scroll on this website at the websites that you create with a lot of gsap because nothing will work anymore the gsap effects will feel like they are you know like very struggling to survive and <laughs> move and it's not gonna have a the scroll is not gonna have a very nice um experience for your you know visitors so just saying uh be mindful of that and that's it that's it that's really it if you'd like to see what else you can build with elementor what's this playlist here or here and if you have gotten any value out of this video Please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.